welcome my lovely Taurus to your reading. So I am a little bit behind with earth and water but I think that it has something to do with the new moon in Leo that we just stepped into yesterday. So if you haven't seen the new moon reading it is on my channel. I posted it yesterday. There's two parts to it and it's a very powerful new moon. So there's a lot of new information that you will receive today that you might not would have received if I would have done this reading earlier. But this is the same style as I did my pick a pile reading. I am going to link it up here if you haven't seen it yet because there might be more information. This is going to be a little bit more deep. It's going to be more specific because it is for you. You can have Taurus wherever in your chart. You can be dealing with your... You can... <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to say you can be dealing with your Taurus. Well, maybe some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus. But you can be dealing with a Taurus. You can be a cross watcher. Take what resonates with the roles. You can be male. You can be female. Also, I have already filmed your August reading. So go take a look at that. I will also link it up here. But without further ado, I am going to put your cards out and then let's see. I am also going to take cards for love and I'm going to use the normal tarot. Protection. Eucalyptus. Oh, well, that is a very refreshing. Oh, I just saw two, twelve. Might be a sign for someone. It's a very refreshing plant. I mean, this is a plant, right? Taste. It fits well with this like new moon in Leo that we have this like fresh air around us. Then we have the witness. I'm going to make sure that you guys can see the cards perfectly. Left or right? Ooh, we have leopard right right here. I like that. See the magic. Camel. Okay. A new earth. It's happening. Whoa. Keep holding the vision. Wow. Oh my god, I love that. And I was just, it's funny because I was just looking at this um, crescent moon. I think that's the crescent moon. That, you know, things are happening right now with the full moon or with the new moon. And when we get to the once in a blue moon. Um, oh, well, the candle was flickering. So yes, yeah, once in a blue moon. I don't even have to bother to say anything else. I can feel that. Once in a blue moon is very important for you. See the magic. Yeah, see the candle. See the magic. Something is very... Oh, so something big is happening. The witness is like, witness this. Also, she's holding like a third eye. Wow, people. We also have like a full moon up here. Abundance and forgiveness. I mean, forgiveness can be many things. Not holding a grudge, I heard. Just be free. Be aligned with yourself. Let's take the last cards. The wheel. Indecisiveness. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Oh, the candle is going crazy with that. Hmm. With the wheel, it's just like taking charts, driving the car. It's also like I spoke about in my new moon reading to listen to the Capricorn energy. Because the Capricorn energy is asking you, where are you going? Is this the right decision? Or is this like, is this practical? Or is this like, is, does this make sense wherever you're going or whatever you're doing? The mice. Discord among friends or family. There might be too many people who has too much to say when it comes to a situation. Um, 
there might be something about that you need to make your own decisions or you need to see by yourself what's going on make a decision by yourself I heard but waiting for news okay you guys can still see it waiting for news package letter so maybe you're receiving something soon that's going to make you make a decision grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling hmm makes sense with these two camel ha you do have the camel two times preserve and you will overcome problems the ladder climbing towards success but the question is do you see that you are climbing towards success do you see it the same way it's actually funny because when I was shuffling these cards there was one card that fell on the floor and I did not decide to take it but spirit just pointed me out to it so I feel like it's important that I say it but it was all about that you need to take um, criticism or handle criticism carefully or oh, there was something um, I would take the book and see if I can find it yeah that's so funny the first um, page I <coughs> opened this book on is here so I will read it for you because again it was a card that fell on the floor but I was like nah we don't deal with that but now that the spirit was pushy we are going to go through it because someone needs to hear this cup you should accept solid criticism a cup sits on a kitchen table in the background is a teapot the teapot represents friendship ah this card advises the querist that means you not to become upset when someone offers you valid criticism the card also advises you to accept constructive criticism and whenever possible make use of it so that is important for someone out there you needed to hear that again if you don't feel like it's for you just leave it if you feel triggered by it it might be for you but let's go through um, these cards I am going to use this deck I just saw the Ace of Cups, so you're definitely being handed a new. Well, either it's relationship or it's a project. There might be something with like cleansing out again in a deep, something that's stuck. Can be something to do with this, like criticism. Again, if you are <clears throat> rising above, you know to a new vibration which we all do with this full moon or new moon then there's no place for criticism this can also be that you are criticizing yourself there might be something with california here whatever you're going through right now you are protected also with this time that we are in your ideas are safe your belief system is safe whatever you believe in is coming full circle there's this energy of you being healed until you're ready might be important for someone you're being healed until you're ready whatever that means for you that is an idea of something that's been with you all along this can be a spirit guide this can be your higher self your future self whatever has been with you whatever that means for you it has been there all along and it's actually like it's becoming ready to show you the way now you are becoming ready to see the magic and I do feel this is like you seeing the magic in a new way you are not going aimlessly in the direction of your future and you're not letting other people make decisions for you you're not letting other people get to your mind and we do sometimes discover that the moment we get out of our own way that is the moment where we see clearly especially if, when or if it's about abundance it's about your higher chakras which makes sense with also the third eye I do feel like you are actually being guided to see something from another perspective another way of seeing the world or another way of seeing you manifesting the magic is unfolding for you right now find stillness 
let your true colors reveal itself because there's something that wants to burst out and it's actually something that's the missing key for what it is that you're trying to manifest and you do have the element of fire with the camel so there's a lot of creativity and it makes sense if you have seen or if you see the new moon energy that sometimes we have a hundred millions of directions we want to go in but it makes us confused and we have to forgive ourselves for pushing too much because it is a very fiery energy around us right now but we need to handle this fire with care because either you're going to get burned or you're going to get burned out you have to know yourself and i do feel that's also why you have the camel you have the magic inside of you and you are protected while going deeper maybe some of you guys are afraid to go deeper when it comes to the spiritual but there is this calling inside of you that really 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 wants to come out waiting for news maybe your spirit guides are actually waiting for you to bring this these news but you have to look within to find the answers right now it's like being on a pil pilgrim um, journey is that what you call it sometimes we have to you know do this ourselves don't ask other people for advice because you have all the answers inside of you if there's too much input sometimes we get even more confused and you mix up the messages from your spirit guide from your angels because you try to find solutions or answers by other people friends or family members but it can simply also be this energy of you trying to make a decision and then a family member or a friend is being like no no you need to do it this way because this is the right way to do it but you feel inside of yourself that you're actually being pulled to do something else but you have other people putting things in your mind thoughts be calm see the magic right now and the, the world right now does need more dreamers keep that vision inside of you don't, don't give up on the vision Forgive yourself for letting go or forgive yourself for not trusting. I think for you this is all about you trying to look deep within and be like, how can I hold my vision? How can I make sure that I believe in myself? Because whatever you believe in right now is actually manifesting. Keep focusing on your dreams because you are closer than you think. You are way closer than you think. And the moment you realize how close you are, that is the moment that um, you will witness abundance coming into your life. And I do feel with that you will forgive whatever needs forgiveness. Maybe this is someone who criticizes you in the past. It can come down to that. Whatever is going on, also whatever is going on in the next month ahead, the candle is flickering does ask you to balance out and handle things carefully especially when it comes to news packages letters it can be letters about whatever handle this with care preserve and you will overcome problems climbing towards success also dare to climb the ladder. I mean, I know that I have, am frightened when it comes to heights, so I am not going to climb any ladders. But sometimes what we fear is something we need to overcome. It's very important for you. With that, let's see what else we can get for you. Yeah. The strength card is reversed, so... I do feel that you're not trusting yourself fully or you're not trusting your own direction or the universe's direction or your spirit guide's direction fully you are a little bit like well maybe this is not for me or maybe I'm not strong enough alright we are back I just wanted to wait till the bang around and construction noises was over outside so that I can continue. So let's look into what else is coming your way. You are definitely climbing towards success. I do like to see that. 
Maybe this is. I just paid attention to like the purchase, purchased, purchase, whatever you call that. That maybe you, this is about something that you want to invest in, something you want to buy. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. So maybe the message here is that you need to wait for news about something. Something you bought. It can be something with a house. It can be something with settlements. It can be many things. It can be a little thing to a big thing. <clears throat> careful handling. Let's see what else is coming your way. What else do you need to know? Ringing in the ear. I didn't have that, but I heard ringing in the ear. So that might be a confirmation for someone. Six of Pentacles. Giving and rece receiving. Oh, yeah. Nine of Swords reversed. There's something you want to receive that you might be, you know, in your mind about. Then we have the Ace of Swords reversed and the Page of Wands reversed. And it's funny with the message. There's like a message of clarity that wants to come towards you. But for some reason you're ignoring it. And it comes back to this like careful handling. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Indecisiveness when it comes to a decision. And I do feel there is a gift. There is a gift or uh, news coming your way within the next month. And it's something that's going to bring you out of anxiety. It might even be something with employment if you are unemployed, like a new job, a new project. It might be money coming your way. Someone who's going to be kind with you. It's something involving rewards. And it's something that's... Uh, there might be a situation that put you in like anxiety. But whatever the news is about, whatever the help is about, is something that will give you uh, get you out of anxiety. But there might be something you need to rethink. Because again, with the Ace of Swords reversed, I can't ignore that the, both the Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands is reversed. Because there is sadness here. There might even be unrequited love. Because there is something with a cancellation of something. It can be like a cancellation of a house buy. Something with a car. That can be something with an event. This can be something... Something that's something that you thought was running smoothly that's suddenly not running smoothly anymore. Maybe this like allowing your life to ramble aimlessly is you allowing the chaos to roll in so that there can be peace. That is what the universe does sometimes. There will be help, but there might be something that's delayed. There might even be something with, with repressed. Emotions, like you might hold back some kind of emotions. It might be something with the family or something with friends. Something you didn't say, that you wanted to say. When it's about the give and take, or if it's about someone who's trying to help you. Maybe someone is trying to help you and you realize that there's like strings attached to it. Because whatever is coming your way when it comes to news, it's about delays. It's about setbacks. Something you had hoped for is not following through. Let's see why that is. Hmm. Page of... Oh, I'm page. Yeah. King of Wands and the uh, Four of Swords. Which is actually... I just got to remind you with the first thing that I said. You're not done healing. There's something you're not done healing with. Something you're not ready for. Yet, I heard. You're not there yet with something, or something, or someone is not ready. Not yet. I keep hearing someone say not yet. Like, for some reason, I feel like someone out there drum, jump from A to D. Obviously, this can be someone that you're dealing with, so, too. But something just got very overwhelming, suddenly. What you do need your confidence, you need to take your confidence back, because things are going to... I will take cards for, like, the outcome. 
because I feel like this is also a little guidance. Be proud of what you're doing. Be proud of yourself. Have passion. There's a lot of passion. But focus your passion on one thing, being creative. You will understand what that means if you saw the new moon reading. And there is fear here. Obviously, you know, it makes sense that there is fear when it comes to something that's unclear. Something that you don't have clarity about. It's this feeling of being overwhelmed. It is spiritual help coming your way. Let's take a last card for the outcome of this situation because I feel that's what you need. Well, we do have the Seven of Swords, but again, the Seven of Swords can also be you using your intuition when it comes to a situation. Maybe you are, ugh, maybe there's someone who's trying to trick you, someone who's trying to. This can be something with a settlement, this can be something with you buying a house or apartment or whatever. Buying something where there is strings attached to it. This can be someone who's coming to you with like, oh, I can rent you the money. I can give you this loan. I can um, help you. But there's something that is tricky about this situation. Can you give me more about that? You really... Wow. Yeah. I'm sorry to say, but there's some of you guys who's letting go of a relationship. Letting go of a... Uh, Home, ho home, house, what a, that's what I wanted to say. Examine someone's values here. Examine what's not being said. Someone said strings attached again. I do feel that we should go um, to the relationship because of, I feel this is it for this. If you are in need of a private reading, if you want to know more, obviously you can book a private reading with me. But I feel this is all I can get right now for this situation. But don't fear, because you are climbing towards success, and you do have like this, you are protected. Abundance is coming in, but there's something that's not for you, or there's something that's tricky. Forgive whatever this is. Let's see what's coming towards you in love. Again, take what resonates, because it might not be for, for you. This might be for you. Worth waiting for. Healing family issues. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. It's funny now that we have the forgiveness card. Maybe you thought that your parents would help you out in a situation and they didn't. And for some reason it really affects your love life as well. There is this energy of divine um, divine timing here. Hmm. Yeah. But there is someone who is worth waiting for. There is a lot of delays right now, I know. But I feel like when you get into September, October, things will flow again. But there is some kind of situation or something that you are not making a decision about. There is something here that is blocking the flow. Let's see what else we can get for love, for Taurus, or for whoever is watching. Don't let this get to your mind. Wow. Oh my god, people. I do feel also with this card and this card that some of you guys are letting go of a person. Or, for others of you, you are healing a trauma or something that happened to you. When you are a kid, but there is heartbreak here. It might be heartbreak that you take from whatever else is happening in your life and it's just overwhelming you so much that it's affecting your love life. It might involve a Pisces. It doesn't have to be a Pisces. But it might be for some of you. It might be an air sign as well. But it's also this like... But it's also this energy of an illusion that's being, you know, broken. Like something is being shattered where you just suddenly just, you see what's right in front of you. Oh, you see the truth in something. Get back to your head, I heard. You might have had back pain. You might have had headaches. It's all about 
um, the intuition, the moon card is connected with your intuition. So are you seeing the truth here? I don't know why someone said running after a dream or running after illusion. It's not giving in this situation. Let's take a last card and then I'm going to take like some oracle cards. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with two people and you have to make a decision because you do have this like indecisiveness. So maybe you are the one who needs to break someone's heart. Maybe you're dealing with a fire sign or earth sign. You can do this. I mean, you are actually looking towards the... Or this person is looking towards the fire sign. So maybe you are choosing a fire sign over an earth sign or air sign. It doesn't have to be that. But it can also be that you are too much in your mind about love right now. You're too much in... And you actually might... I just heard that. You might actually just need to focus on yourself. You need to learn to trust yourself to be alone with yourself because I know that's something that's hard sometimes but we need to trust that we can stand on our own two feet. I do feel this is going to be everything for you Taurus. I know this one is a little bit tough but there's someone out there who does need to hear this but I will say with this you are on the right track because now you get the information. You take it in, you allow the new to come in. Remember there is some something that's trying to push through here. If this resonated, please let me know in the comments. If you are in need of a private reading, healing session, or removal of blocks, all information is down below. But I will send you guys all my love and positive energy for this journey, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!